Hello YouTube and the tribe of the Hararel. This is our entry to Dyslexic Nick's Alphabet of Awesome Movies 2. This is the letter P selected by Richard, aka Horror Show 3000. If you don't uh, know all of them, I'm sure you do, especially if you're following at this stage of the game. But if not, the links are below. Go on there over there, sub them, friend them. And Richard picked for the letter P, Pulse. And uh, what he meant by Pulse is not so much the movie where someone's getting their pulse taken, but a movie that got your very own pulse taken, that brought you to the edge of your seat, that made you just grip the edge of the handles of the chair you're sitting in and lean forward and get that blood flowing and the heart beating. So, without further ado, do we agree that you can go first, or are you going to punch me again? Well, I can go first. Okay. <laughs> you ahead. know me. You guys know my blanket meter, so... <laughs> um, these are the movies that have really um, put the, um, the blanket meter up there. Um, the first one um, was a movie you recently went to go see, The Woman in Black. And uh, it, it was a great movie. I um, actually screamed during the movie <laughs> in the theater. Um, very, very ghost story-like movie. Um, the, the images in the movie that you see, it, the ghost was just very well made, very scary looking. And uh, it just keeps on the edge of the seat waiting to see what will happen next in that movie. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, uh, I recommend it, especially for people who love ghost stories. Uh, my next one is the movie um, The Wreck. If you guys watch my. Um, no, that, just Wreck. <laughs> wreck. Um, if you guys saw my um, my Alphabet of the Dams, uh, this is what I think for R. And it's, oh, it's one hell of a movie. It's very, very scary. Um, you don't see um, the creature until um, somewhere near the end of the movie. And it doesn't end very well. It's a <laughs> very sad ending. Um, but um, it, it keeps you just so glued to the television. And it's just so... It, you don't know what's going to happen next. And you're like rooting for the person to win the battle, and it doesn't happen that way. <laughs> did you did you like that the original better than Quarantine? Yes, yes, I did, I did. I recommend it to see this. It's just a very good movie. Yeah. The last one is um, Paranormal Activity Two. I also saw one. Um, both of them are excellent. Um, if you love paranormal stuff. These are the ones to see, and it's, they're all they're both based off of um, um, real events. Um, it's um, it's very very scary, and it's it's just really scary because it's reality and um, reality based. But um, mm. and um, I I'll can't take that one with a grain of salt. And I can't wait to see Paranormal Paranormal Activity three, which they say is more scary than one and two, but um, it plays with your mind, and what you see, you can't believe. <laughs> so, those are my three tips. Um, I had three picks, but I only have two of the movies with me, because I'm not going to dig through all the stuff to find the third movie, <laughs> which I'll start with, and that would be Jaws. Now, I got to see Jaws as a really wee kid, and um, the music alone just gets you when you hear that um, John Williams score and mm -hmm. you know, you're nearly not seeing anything but you're practically in sweats and nearly chewing through the fingernails <laughs> at what's going to happen. And um, so that was one of those films that was just um, really altering when you saw it back then. Now you look at it most people, it's just like I would say there's several movies that uh, back in the day when they first came out, they were they just wowed people. Uh, the first Star Wars, first Superman, 
and Jaws. And if you see them now and you haven't seen them before, you're not going to be as impressed with them because, you know, technological advancements and such. But every time it's on TV, we stop to watch it. Yeah, I know. I love <laughs> Um, the other next one might be a little bit of a surprise because it's not the best movie, but um, it's Vertical Limit. Um, I'm really not a huge fan of heights, so when they in this movie there's parts where you see um, them jumping as the snow is giving way into a chasm and. Um, it's just one of those things that when I'm thinking, like, oh, my God, that just drives me crazy and I'm ready to soil myself because I just would hate to be in that situation. <laughs> so, um, Vertical Limit is one of those movies that often has me shouting poopy. <laughs> and last but not least, um, this one just gets my pulse going and um, literally any time I watch it, I get goosebumps, and the hair stands on men, um, and that is the scariest friggin' movie I have ever seen, mm -hmm. which is the original Juan, a.k.a. The Grudge. Not the Sarah Michelle Gellar one, but the original Japanese one. It is just so friggin' scary. I mean, there's others, The Ring and all that, that's really scary, but this one just did a number on me. He was pee pants. And, uh, I mean, I... <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty tolerant to most horror films after all these years, but this one just gets me. It goes like this on the blanket, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm right behind you on the blanket there. So that's our pick. Uh, the next letter, uh, of course, is the letter Q, which is there's so many words you can pick for that one. <laughs> and that is going to our friend Alex, a.k.a. an 80s slasher. Again, the links will be right down below. And he gets to pick whatever the heck he wants for Q. I don't know what that is over there. Maybe sure. quinoa. Maybe you can put it this out of his brother. Okay. Anything else you look at? No. <laughs> All right. That's it. Bye-bye.